makeup artist, and we're going to show you my everyday makeup as Miss California. Generally, I like to start with the eyes first. Now, Noelle has some makeup on, but I'm going to apply a shadow primer, and this will ensure her st that her shadow will last a lot longer than without a primer. Generous with my first shade because this really makes the other shadows go on much easier and they will blend easier. So I start with my light shade and I'm again very generous with it. I'm changing brushes and I'm going to use a fluff brush and I'm going to go with a second color which will be tourmaline and I tap that off and I'm watching for the shape of her eye. She has a natural socket. I'm just going to enhance it. I have the second color on and I kept it pretty high and still leaving room for her highlight to show. Then I'm going to go with a deeper color, make her a little more dramatic for um, stage. So I'm taking a darker color which is called raisin and I'm going below the tourmaline. So technically the what you did previously could be for day and then now you're adding on for stage. Yes. So you can see the difference between the more contoured and the kind of a more natural look. Now I'm going to touch up her liner. This is what I do when I'm backstage. I'm going to kind of finish it off. Whenever you're doing your liner, rather than having it come to a complete stop, have it taper off to a pinpoint right about like that. So this side is a little shorter than this side. However, I still want to make that eyebrow show up. And your eyebrows really are quite a big, you know, part of your makeup look. If you don't have your eyebrows on, your eyes tend to disappear. Another thing is to extend out just a little bit and without heading to the cheek, you want to head to the tip of the ear. And that way you're not going to close off your eyes. Now I want to do a little bit of concealer, so I'm going to kind of clean up underneath their eyes. And it's all right to find a shade that is slightly lighter. I prefer a brush to apply it rather than taking your stick and running across and hit everything that doesn't need to be concealed. Patting and pressing helps that to blend in a more natural way. The art of contouring is light and dark. Dark pushing back, light bringing forward. So the two of those combined really can create an illusion. So, for instance... Can we give me a nose? Well, you <laughs> have a nose, but I will form a... Bigger more nose. <laughs> doing is I'm taking a taupey color kind of on the warm side and I'm just going to run it down the side being careful not now you can also start up there I'm being very careful not to overdo it because you don't want to make your nose look dirty I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to take somewhat of a highlighter and raise that nose so it's all a true illusion. When I pick up my color, I just, I don't go to the face with a fully loaded brush. I pick it up and then I beat it up so it's nice and soft in the bristles. Start below the bone and then lightly fluff it up. You have a high forehead, you can throw a little color up here, throw a little color on your neck. The next step is that highlight right up on the highest part of her cheek and lip. Sometimes if I want my color to remain exactly as it comes out of the container, I will get as close a liner as I can to match my lip color. Now tap together just slightly. Okay. I love it. You want to know something funny? Now Linda's makeup is all very light, so you don't feel that you even have it on. And when I went to Dancing with the Stars with some of my friends, I did the red lip. I was wearing all black. I did the red lip. And I kept turning over to Miss Washington. Is my lipstick still on? Is my lipstick still on? Because it didn't feel like it was on anymore. Mm -hmm. And she's like, yes, it's still on. It's brighter than ever. <laughs> now stop asking me. <laughs> so it's really nice that you don't even recognize you have it on. So if you liked anything that you saw 
where should everyone go and purchase this? LindaOntiveros.com. See, See you there. there. Sometimes I get a good feeling.